Today I'm skipping school because I don't want to go. So we're just vlogging. It's 9.30. Class starts in like 30 minutes. I just like didn't have the time because I had to walk my dog. Like I would have to leave right now. And then um, I still had a shower and stuff. I'm making coffee because I'm tired. I actually have a lot of homework to do. Say good morning. Good morning. Also, sorry, I know there's a lot of background noise, but I really don't care. A long, long time ago, I went to the fair. So I'm gonna insert those clips because I took like a couple of clips so I wasn't like vlogging. coffee my cute little mug wow so indie first i do a scoop of collagen it's just good for like hair nails whatever so just like a scoop okay and then i have the duncan french vanilla put in the pure egg wow I'm kind of sad. It was like gloomy out. Now it's getting brighter, but I love when it's gloomy. You say hi. 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 I think I've like officially made it in life when like I smell coffee and I'm like, it smells so good. Like it smells so good. And I haven't even put the creamer in. It just smells so good. Um, stir it up because sometimes the collagen doesn't get fully mixed. But that's why I put it at the bottom before because then it like dissolves as the water's hitting it. The coffee. It's kind of gross. Sometimes there's like chunks. I just got stuck with it. Now I get this creamer. Italian sweet cream. Just pour it in. Me personally, I love a lot of coffee. I mean, I love a lot of creamer. Not a lot of coffee. So like, yes, my coffee is like on the verge of being white, but that's okay. I actually added a little too much cream this time, but it's so good. Wow, so Indy, I'm gonna be doing homework. I read this entire book yesterday. It was traumatic. Not, not the book, the books. I'm not gonna hate on the book, but I like more horror books personally. I have to do like a whole speech and I have to be like reading a children's book and like recording myself reading a children's book. <sighs> assignment and now i'm kind of hungry but it's only like 10 20 so my god i don't want to have lunch food yet but that took a while but my tip for studying is always put on like classical like jazz music kind of stuff that you would hear in like a hotel or something something about it like gets you in the zone you know you can't play like regular music because then you'll be like listening to the lyrics you need non-lyrics and something about it, you just feel like elegant. It like motivates me wanting to work. And it is the study tip I've used every time. I will study for hours if that music is playing. One time my friend FaceTimed me and it was still like playing in the background. And they're like, are you at like a fancy restaurant? Like, no, I'm literally studying. Like it just gives you, even if you're in public, I will put on my noise canceling headphones and be listening to like classical music. It's something about, I, I don't know how to explain it, but like, you just like, I don't know. I really don't want to work to get that. <laughs> like it's such like a gloomy day. I just want to snuggle up. 
and i would ask someone to cover my shift and like switch shifts for them tomorrow but i'm the only like i'm available the, like the earliest so like i work at 2 30 even though if someone covered my shift they wouldn't be able to work till like four at the earliest so i made a breakfast sandwich my mom made them it's just like english muffin egg bacon cheese before you yell at me because i know a lot of you know that i don't eat red meat and there's bacon on here i gave an exception because it's good like i'm not gonna like go and make bacon but if it's in the breakfast sandwich like i'm gonna eat it i'm not like allergic and it's not like a religious thing i just like feel like not eating red meat it's like really bad for you so i'm gonna eat this and then do homework after okay guys now for my speech class i have to like like film myself from knees up reading a children's book it's gonna be so awkward because you're like pretending that you're like in front of the class and you have to like give a whole like in front of like kids and you have to give like a whole like speech about like what it means and you have to like read it like these people are gonna watch me like and then it was kids like ew like and i have to give like a whole moral lesson are you guys ready for this i don't know what the thing is i have to read this book first Today, we are going to be reading The Kiss That Was Missed. This is about blah, blah, blah. And I have to do that. I never understood what that was for. Once upon a Thursday, the king was in a hurry as usual. Good night, he said, and he blew his son a royal kiss. It missed. The young prince watched it rattle around the room, then bounce out of the window into the night. The prince told the queen, the queen told the king, and the king was quick word with the loyal knight. Follow that kiss, he squawked. What? How do you see a kiss floating around? The knight mounted his horse. Eventually, uh, what? the knight mounted his horse, eventually, and galloped off in a hot pursuit until they came into the wild wood. Wild creatures with wild eyes, too much hair, and very bad manners lived here. It was dark. It was smelly. It was snowing. I'm so bad at reading too. This is terrible. What? Like, how am I supposed to? Because we're supposed to talk about like a moral story. Should I be like, oh, like, this moral story is about not rushing, taking time, and loving everyone. So let's learn, class. Okay, let's shower so that we can look presentable. I mean, I look fine, but like, 